Hi guys! So, today I want to bring something to our notice. This thing called depression. Depression is something I have noticed that every human being has a tendency to go through at one point or the other in their life. Every human being has a tendency if you're not careful. Now, what is depression? Depression is extreme sadness. Extreme sadness. As when sadness overwhelms you, depression sets in. And it, it gets to the point that you become self-destructive, that you want to commit suicide, kill yourself, or you want to kill other people. Okay, depression, there are four causes of depression, yeah? It could be family history, it could be medical, it could be a health related issue, it could be from use of drugs and alcohol, then it could be a personal thing. Now what I'm focusing on is a personal thing because if it's family history, they put that are from a long line of depressed people, every spot in the point is depression, but it can still be controlled because personality is what makes you different from what, even if you have family history, character traits, yeah, your personality, what you choose, the choices you make will differ you from your family members it will come more it will come more often but the way you handle it is different so i'm focusing much on the personality part of it because that is where many other people slide into that problem even though not everybody takes things to heart but many people many people at one point or the other their life would happen and you start feeling you take you take it so hard and then the pressure sets in if you're not careful now the first thing I want to say is, as a human being, make sure you are around positive-minded people. Never find yourself around a negative-minded person because that is the fastest route to depression. Because there is no place it is perfect. Even people that you look up to and you are tapping from their glory or tapping from their success or tapping from whatever thing you think is going on well with them have their own issues. They just don't tell you about it because they want to focus on the good part of their life. Everybody has what they're going through. Every human being, every human being, even your pastor, have what they are going through that they cannot come out and tell you because they are role models to you. So by all means in your life, every step of your life, avoid negative-minded people because they will make you feel like nothing is going on well with you and they may come across to you like uh, I'm not being negative minded but this is just I'm just being calculative I'm just being why must you be calculative with negative side why not think about the positive side anything in life can, miracle can happen to anybody why are you focusing on the negative part and you saying you're being calculative anybody who is being calculated to the point that it's always negative 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 be careful of such company because you will find yourself where you it will carry you go where you don't know you need to be very careful that's the first thing first for someone who, who wants to be happy at all times happiness is actually a choice what makes people sad it's not what they don't have it's not what's not going on well with them what makes people sad is what they don't have that they are looking at now everybody who doesn't have one thing or the other has another thing that somebody else who is happy doesn't have Whoever is a sad person focusing on what he or she doesn't have has something else that another person is wishing to have. So if you want to be a happy soul, if you want to be successful, if you want to be happy in this life, that sadness not come and call you to the point that Satan and his agents and the spirit of the whole spirit of darkness will come and rest upon your head. You need to be focusing on the good things you have that some other people don't have. Because some people are so negative minded, sometimes they didn't bring it upon themselves. It could be from what they heard from somebody else. Someone else who wants to advise that people. You know there are people that like to advise people. Maybe you are there and they are advising somebody, they are talking about somebody else and advising abstractly, but the person is not there now. So you are not receiving the advice and you are in a like and you are in a, and you are in the same kind of situation with that person. So now the advice is talking about for John is not landing on you and what you're going to the person may know or may not know. And then you receive all those things and you go home and start thinking about it. And then you find yourself on the path of the depression. So by all means, avoid negative-minded people. Because that is the fastest route to depression. Now, what I was saying about what you have and what you don't have, 
what may have one, um, one out of three things here, the person focuses on the two things he doesn't have, that is sadness coming there. What may have nine out of ten things, the person is focusing on the one thing that he doesn't have, sadness is coming to you. What may have ten out of ten things, but the person is focusing so much on what he thinks he does not have, that is not even existing. Sadness is coming. So we need to be very careful the kind of people we have around us. Because at the end at the end of the day, you don't know. Maybe the person who is making you feel like your life is not going well enough. Maybe an enemy in disguise coming as a friend come to advise you. You need to be careful of people who are coming around you. Watch. Watch. Because sometimes they say faith comment by hearing, hearing the word of God. Yeah. The same way fear, doubt, and sadness comes through hearing. Sometimes what you hear you start you to go into you and your mind will start processing and before you know you find yourself when you don't even know you need to be careful what we hear now in this life like i said before everybody have what they are going through but when you focus so much on what you don't on, on what is not going well for you you are in the part of sadness now the, a few days ago we had mother's day yeah? and there were many mothers who were being celebrated some people some people some 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 mothers who were celebrated have age beats who are probably not married and don't have children they didn't have children at all they celebrated but you never know that some of these mothers now or some of these women who have their children who have their husbands now on different levels while the one with the least number of gifts is so happy with her children and what they have done another one who is better than her from what we can see is sorrowing on where her children are not doing as well as she expects I always tell people there is no idealized success success is as long as you're moving forward you're succeeding there is no if you compare yourself to people you are you're going to kill yourself with pain and sadness because everybody has their race to run everybody could run at their own pace there is no idealized success somebody may choose to become a reverend father or a reverend sister and at the end of the day he's 50 60 70 80 no child anywhere no property anywhere to his name no wife anywhere to his name or her name and she or he or she is happy because of the impact he has made or she has made to the lives of younger ones to you know to, to he or she has put something into humanity and and and, and the person is seeing the fruits meanwhile somebody who married at the age of 16 or 20 is busy so worrying that her children are not doing well enough so you see that there is no idealized happiness when, wherever you find yourself as long as you have made effort and you find yourself in a particular position be happy there when you see some people who come out and they try to defend a certain mindset and say eh, 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 for example eh, marriage is not everything the person probably she is not married and she's getting old and then she's trying to comfort herself by saying marriage is not everything on social media you don't have to attack that person that person is protecting her joy <laughs> yes she's protecting her she's protecting her joy because if she starts to say marriage is everything she will die before her time maybe even before the husband comes because there are people I've, I, I know of, I, I know of a woman that married at the age of late 50s I think even 60 she got married she's a married woman to be <laughs> So you say that this life is really somehow when you focus so much on things that you don't have, you will die before they come. Don't let anybody put you on speed. Don't let anybody make you feel like you're not doing well enough. Don't let anybody make you feel as long as you're making efforts, you're working on your character, you're working on your life, you're working on everything that should be moving forward, and you're moving forward. Please be happy because there are people that are supposed to be that are hoping to be where you are, and they're not there. The people that have everything. They have everything, they have they have money, they have children, they have resources, they have everything. But they are not happy and they don't know why they're not happy. It could be spiritual. And they look at you that don't have anything and they see how happy you are going about your, your your life and stuff. And they are hoping to be like you. Because you, you, you have the ability that they don't have to bounce challenges. Not everybody has the ability to bounce challenges back to say it's not good to me. Not everybody has that gift. Not everybody has that grace. But you have that grace, they don't have it and they want to be like you. And they are sorrowing you know about it so you can now see that there is no idealized way of being happy when we're children we think some have food but cannot eat some can eat but have no food we have food that we can eat we have food that we can eat our back can be paying us our head can be paying us but glory be to the O lord because you, 
If, if you don't celebrate what you have, nobody will celebrate you. If you think you are a failure at every point in time, nobody will. That is how that is how it, it will be for you. Nobody is coming to rejoice for you. Nobody is coming to be happy for you. Be happy now. Before death, come and collect you. Because who don't die? Don't die. All this, all this thing we are struggling for in life. Now here, end. End of story.